Yes, welcome one and all to episode 256, Fully Geek Pod. You got myself, Nate the Man in the Know. Richie, Richie in the house. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, you, you, took, you took very long to introduce yourself because you, you think Kel's going to be there, right? Marley Marl in the house. Marley Marl. You know, you took okay. long, which could use us to come straight after Kel, isn't it? But like, mm, okay. You just took the time. All right, as you know, it's Kel is not here in the building today. Not sure why he is just not in the building. He just didn't give us a reason. Just not here. Right, man, then what's going on? Everything is everything. Yeah, man. All good, bro. All good. Life be life in, bro. Life be life in. That's what I like to hear. All right, give thanks. We are officially in October. We we're in October last week, but we we're officially in October. Um, October, known as. UK Black History Month, where they are trying to promote lots of films, TV shows that are promoting black history or black excellence. I know, though, no, actually, I was about to say what's coming up. I think there's a program on Lenry Henry that's on now. Um, there's a few programs that are kind of scheduled, and when I remember them, I'll let you know. Um, look out for my top 10 black films for October as well. Okay. Um, look out for my top 10 black TV shows coming out this month. <laughs> Marley Mar, you going to top that? Are there are they 10 black TV shows? No, I'm joking. Um, I can't think of anything right now. It's on the spot. Um, just on a, on a side note, did any of you, did you not watch like The Best Man's Wedding? Is it Best Man's Wedding? The best man, sorry, the best man. The sequel to the best man. Yeah. So, did you, did you watch the two films? You've seen the two films. I've seen the two films. Yeah, yeah. There's a TV series as well, but I like oh, yeah. I knew it came out in America. Yeah. But it's actually out now as well in UK on BBC Two. So randomly, I kept on seeing that. Like that I saw the best man came out on BBC. Then the next week, the best man, whatever the sequel was. And then they're now releasing the TV series as well. So it, obviously, it's the first time we've had it over here. So I've yeah. recorded them, so I will be updating, hopefully, once I've watched all of them. Cool. It's got the whole same cast and everything. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you can catch it on iPlayer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's... We're talking about the old school movie, yeah? Yeah, that... yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember yeah. When the, where, where he thinks that the girl's cheating or whatever, and then he wants to look through the phone, and then the bridging picks up the phone, dash it on the phone, stamps on the phone to make sure that no one can't get in the phone. But I expect all of you to yeah, do yeah, yeah. Yeah. I expect every one of you to do that for me. Well, what are you doing though? What, you're, you're married. Well, you're... My phone. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> you still marrying her though? Huh? You still marrying her? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like shit. Have I got the wrong? <laughs> no, I'm using my like real life, well, guys. I was about to. Uh, anyway, let's just keep it moving. Keep it moving. All right, yeah, I think that is the TV series. That's what happened in Marley Mar. I will speak to you offline. Um, yeah. <laughs> By that, everything's all right. Everything, nothing's really happening with you lot. Not really, no. Nah, bro. All right, guys, you lot was talking so much before we was on air. Now everyone's quiet. It's cool. No, I'm just waiting to kick off the shows. I'm just waiting for you, bro. That's Sucking on your fun. eyes. Dressing gowns ready. Oh, pause on the sucking on the ice, please. But you were you were sucking. This is what it went quiet, waiting for you to go on to the next part. But you were sucking on ice. I wasn't sucking. Anyway, there's a let's drink. Pro let's pro let's a progress. Drink. Let's progress. It was a drink. See, okay. I was drinking through the straw. The drink. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Why for man for sucking through straws? All right, um, Merv. Any trailers this week? Nope. <laughs> None at all. <laughs> I try, man. There was I couldn't. Yeah, normally these trailers just come to me, but I'm like, I'm struggling. There might have been some trailers, but nothing that really says nothing of note. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, let's go then, guys. What TV shows are we kicking off, or films? What are we kicking off with? Have any of you watched Joker two yet, or Joker Part Two? I wanted to, you know, but um, I'm not hearing good things at all, man. You know, which is which, which is really what? disappointing because. The good things that you've haven't the, the sorry, not good things you've heard has stopped you from going to cinema. 
Yeah, it's just it's just it's like obviously I wanna I wanna um watch the film on my on its own merits in it. So I will watch it, but I feel like I don't want I don't need to rush out to go and see it. Wow. No, I, do, do you know what? No, you know what? It's not That's me, deep, it's my fault. I know we're supposed to support the cinema and, and these films that we love, but I think lately, well, life is just busy, number one, isn't it, yeah? And I think to, to sort of get into a cinema these days, you have to really want to go to the cinema. So if you're hearing all these really awful things about a film and it's not doing great, you're kind of like, I'll just wait, in it. I know that's bad to say, but... No, it's not. I'm with you on that. Because... Time is, time is it's, it's time and... If you're going to spend billions or millions on a film, you know, to entertain people, do it properly, you know. But to be fair, I shouldn't say do it properly because the director and all that stuff must have thought they were doing a good film and stuff, but it just probably didn't translate as well. Because I heard that they made, I think the budget was 200 million and yeah. they only made 40 million over the weekend. Yeah. When they say the film's grossed 121 million dollars worldwide so far. Yeah, but I, think, I, well, think I feel like yeah. I feel like it's gonna be one of them films. Like I think a lot of people will go and watch it because they believe like shit. The Joker one was sick, like fucking Phoenix was sick. Like it's gonna be that. But I heard the film is like almost like a could be a whole new film. It's not. It's not even like a sequel to the film because yeah. I guess Joker wasn't supposed to be one for a sequel in it. Yeah. So I think right. this is like a whole new concept. She, um, she doesn't play. Um, Lady Gaga, she, Harley Quinn. Harley, late, yeah, Harley Quinn. Anything like any Harley Quinn we've seen before, where um, Harley Quinn has been played recently, just like the comics. This one has gone in a whole new direction, which is fine. Ish, Ula, when you think about when we when Joker one happened, he's not the same kind of Joker we've seen all the time. Yeah, it might have the laugh and stuff, but yeah, this is a completely new Joker that we've seen as well, and that worked. Do you know what I mean? So I think it's fine with them doing a different take on it, but it just has to be good, I suppose. But I do want to see it. I will, I will see it. It's just, like I said, that's like, you know, you're just busy and you just, and you just don't feel like to prioritise and something that mm. is that you haven't heard that's great. Well, I, I guess to be honest, it came out on Friday, so it's not, you haven't, it hasn't been cinema for weeks and weeks and weeks, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So I guess there's always time. Yeah. Um, like word of mouth, really. Maybe. Yeah, and I think that's probably I. I don't normally like when I listen to other people and like, oh, they kind of say it's dead, and then I don't watch it. And people listen to us and do the same thing. But you know, the joke is, I'm not even oh, no pun intended, but I haven't I haven't watched any reviews of it. I've just it's just like you know, you just kind of go around on social media and you just seen headlines, 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 and like I mean, I li I, I watch like movie chart news and all that stuff and box office and stuff and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you're hearing those numbers, man, it's like, oh, it's not good. One review I saw of it was talking about how um, they took the Joker back a bit too far because at the end of the first one, like, he was liberated, didn't he? He yeah. found who he was. He was, but yeah. then apparently in this one, he goes back to that disheveled yeah. waste man Joker again, which doesn't make mm -hmm. sense. Like, there's no progression. For me, I feel like, obviously, I think we all feel the same. They should have left it as a standalone, yeah. which is yeah. why I don't really want to watch this one because I, I like the thought of... The first Joker, as it is, if that yeah, makes sense. Totally, yeah. And that's, and that's the problem when you when when you make a film that makes because yeah, that was like the what the number one was it was it the first R rated billion um comic book movie to make a billion? I'm I think it was it over, yeah. in, bro. So that that was just because he didn't want to do a sequel in Mikey and Phoenix, but um once you make those once you make those numbers, it's inevitable that there has to be a sequel, which is a bit mm -hmm. of a shame, really, because. Again, you have to have that same energy. Look what happened with um, Wonder Woman as well. That was on yesterday, by the way. Wonder Woman 84. Terrible, terrible. Is it? Oh, you yeah. should have heard of me. I like that. <laughs> I was so angry when I was watching it, but it just reminded me, the first one was so good, man. Mm. And then, yeah, it's like when you fly too close to the sun. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And I think, I think one of the issues as well is that this has been seen to be a musical. So what I think what they've actually called it is an American musical psychological thriller. Mm. Yeah. And I I think what we're saying is that some of the musical numbers don't necessarily relate really to what has been going on. And I think a lot of people are walking in there going, well, I didn't come to watch a musical. 
I wouldn't mind if it was a musical. No, but it, it was a musical like Sound of the Music or yeah, yeah. like um, any of those kind of things. Like, I'm all for it. Like, I don't mind musicals. Like, I enjoy yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. But this doesn't really seem what I want to hear. Even the title sounds like a musical. Was it Folly Adieu or something yeah. like that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Proper good, you know. That's it, yeah. <laughs> How did you get in French CCC, bro? Yeah, just, just, yeah, my, my name's French, bro. Molly Mar. Uh, Moise. No, 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 no. Did you did you learn French in school though? Nah, I did. I, I did. I did Spanish. I did French, but I didn't do very well. I wish I continued with it, man. Because I was good at. It. I got a B. I got a B. What French? Yeah. You're one of those kids, isn't it? Did you well, not do that? I, I mean, technically, you know, my um, Saint Louis and the Sweet Pat were in it, so it's like yeah. broken French. So it was easy, quite easy to pick up. I don't have to speak Patois. I have it. From a company you know. That's mad. Because you lost islands are just across the road from each other, you know? Literally. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, like, the can't like, you see that he's sending? He said our islands are across the road from each other, like we're small, isn't it? So he's, no, he's no, 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 I wouldn't even I wasn't even know. I meant in the sense of it's what a uh, half an hour. I thought it was like like the A13 to A12, you know. <laughs> we're coming like that though like like you can get on a small plane you're not on it for so long no nah, literally no more than half an hour you're yeah, right man. Hey, well don't feed him man don't feed him this he knows what he's doing it, it, brother there was not brother i told you how much i respected you as island when i went there i loved it yeah you did to be fair Big brother, i talk about your island more than i talk about my own yeah she said that as well that, yeah so like i actually talk about you as island more than i talk about my own Okay, okay. I, know, I told you I would rather stay there than stay in JA, and that's no cap. Like that's on that's on everything. <laughs> but yes, um, yeah. All right, cool. Well, yes, I guess none of us have seen that. And I also think <laughs> I've already been a positive, but it might have been a negative. The fact that Penguin is out at the same time, like it would have had that right. Batman kind of like okay, like we're all kind of getting into the whole of Batman kind of thing. But mm. maybe it hasn't worked. But talking of Penguin, um, we've had a third episode that's come out this week. I know you haven't watched it, Merv, so we're going to try and talk about Penguin without dropping any mad spoilers. Sorry, but, Nate, you do go on, sorry, brother. Can I, is this Penguin set after the Matt Reeves Batman? Yeah. So it's, okay. So do you think Batman will be in it eventually or like a cameo? I, I hope not. I kind of hope not. I mean, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, um, it would make sense why, isn't it? Because it is the Batman, Matt Reeves Batman world and stuff. And um, it's relevant, I suppose, as well, you know. Um, if, but um, yeah, because you know, like, I'm just, think, I'm just thinking of Gotham basically. Like, you know how Gotham, where we, it was literally about Jim Gordon and the, you know, all the bad stuff happening around Gotham. And they had Bruce Wayne in it. It's like, okay, oh, fine, young Bruce Wayne, but. By the, by, end, by the end of that series, we saw him in a Batman suit, which was just completely dumb and wrong. Do you know what I mean? Uh, but but obviously, if you put Batman in this Penguin series, it makes sense because it makes him yeah. as Batman. Yeah. Do you know what? Yeah. Do you know you just in your conversation just now, you explained something to me mm. that came out in this episode. That I was unsure of. Yeah. But now, because you just told me the fact that it's after the Batman makes so much sense. <laughs> have you not seen the Batman movie? Yeah, of course I have. Oh, okay, okay. No, no, no. But I, I forgot they were even linked. Oh. So basically, I, I, I don't know. How to... Yeah, all right, cool. No, there's there's a bit where the young man Victor. Victor goes for traumatic experience. But and that's, yeah, I couldn't that's remember cool, yeah. where the traumatic experience came from. But then when you spoke about the Batman, it now clicks in my head. and goes, that's what the traumatic experience is. I was thinking, how are you doing like such a big reveal? But there's no like we're not understanding why, where the trauma came from. So now it makes sense. And is it set in Gotham as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So then it wouldn't be too bad to see Batman in it. Then really, like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, why would he not be if the Joker's doing all this crime? Why would we be surprised that the Batman shows up? Or something? No, but the reason why I say I wouldn't want it is because 
if Batman comes into it straight away, it now becomes Batman's show, not about the Penguin. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Totally. And, and I feel like it needs to be the Penguin show before Batman wants to come in. And obviously, it's now been revealed that the Batman 2 is going to come out in exactly two years. So it's going to come out in October 2026. Gosh, man. That's yeah. A long time, man. <clears throat> it is, but you could have had two Joker series by then. That potentially. But yes, yeah, so that's when it's coming out, 2026. But yeah, that made a whole lot more sense. And obviously last week I told you lot that obviously the Joker is not my, I mean, the Penguin is not my type of program. I was I was guessing the thing because I kept on falling asleep, basically. Uh, basically what it was, what I was really trying to say is that I shouldn't watch it late at night when I'm tired because I will go to sleep. And I kept on falling asleep and waking up and the program was done. So I was like, it's dead because it's making me go to sleep. But I watched it in the daylight and actually like I, I, I'm, I'm on it. That's good, man. I'm, I'm, I'm proper proud to hear this, man. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Next surprise. I'm on it. I'm on, I'm on the Falcons. I'm on all of that. It's good. I do enjoy the show. Um, Richard, you got anything to say about the Penguin? No. Um, just like you, I enjoy it. Um, obviously, I can't talk about it too much because um, some people said no spoilers. But no, but um, honestly, yeah, this episode is actually a good episode. Um, like, obviously, I haven't, I haven't seen Batman, but I, I knew parts of this episode, which what Nate was talking about the, the trauma that um, Victor's going through. So I, I already knew that was linked from the previous, um, from the film, anyway. Um, so just fundamentally, it's, it's a lot about Victor and this show and. Um, him going through traumatic times um, in the past and dealing with situations in current, t- current, in current. But yeah, good episode, good to watch. Um, but I will. I think I am going to go back and watch the Batman again as well, though. I need to watch it. You know, it's mad. I've only seen that once. You know, mm. but it, I you feel know. to me that it's like at least my top one. No, top three, top two Batman films easily. Like the top one Batman film. Top, right? top one. <laughs> <laughs> I would have had the top the top Batman film is cool. Yeah. No, the top one. Um yeah, I, I think I need to watch it again. Again to take it in properly. I think I even went to cinema to watch it, but as you know, when I go to cinema sometimes I do the occasional long blink, so <laughs> and it is three hours long. Mm. But I really I, I also really like Sophia Falcone as well though. Yeah. I yeah, do she- like her character. She, 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 you know what? She makes me feel on edge, man. Like yeah. one minute she can be like quite feel you feel quite safe around it, and it's like, you know what? This this woman's capable of some horrible stuff, you know. Mm. Especially with the actress that plays, her, plays her amazingly. The yeah. actually plays yeah. her plays her amazingly. Yeah. yeah, she does well. They all do well, to be fair. The one they pass with. Yeah, no, definitely. Like I said, I'm I've been waxing the record. I've been telling people to go and watch the Penguin. So please do go and watch the Penguin. The Penguin, if you are part of our USA followers, it was on HBO. And if you are in the UK, it comes out on Sky Atlantic. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, Rich, I know you hate this TV show, but and I don't know if I don't know if it's justified. Um, I'm gonna hand over to Molly Mall because I want Molly Mall to talk about Agatha all along. This week we've had episode, I would say four. Episode four came out. If I can't reach you, let my song teach you. What are your thoughts, hey. Molly Mall? So I watched it today, yeah. And I'm I'm not even sure what the episode was about. I don't know if that's just me, but it's just a lot of craziness going on. And I have to say, I kind of see where Richard's coming from slightly with the acting and everything else, the silliness, but in the defense of it, I feel like it's supposed to be like that. It's supposed to yeah. be kind of lighthearted. They, they like obviously they can all act if they if they're in a serious show, but this is how they're supposed to be acting. So I don't really know how to describe the show I saw today. It's a bit weird. Well, yeah, it, it, it was about the the curse, right? Um, that curse that was going around, and what the we Asian, found, Asian w- witch. Yeah. So what we found out. It, um, Alice's mother, Lorna, um, it was a curse that she she kind of put together to protect Alice itself. Um, and and obviously the way to get rid of the curse 
was to play music. Um, yes, I said play music. You know um, what? And oh, the, all knew how to play the instruments, bro. Yeah, and it, and the devil being came out and scared everyone, and then it disappeared. Yeah, I, I must admit though, yeah, I can't lie to you. I shazam that song straight away. You know, the the ballad of the riches, bro. <laughs> like, I, I think it was such a catchy song. I can't lie to you. Listen, forget the song. The show is dead. Forget the song. The show is is, is terrible. Oh, forget that. Look, like Mar said, I think Mar like he, he, spot on because it, it, if you if you're trying to take this seriously, which I'm pretty sure that there's going to be a serious part in it anyway, something's going to shock you about it. You know, and just like One Division, how that was a bit kind of wacky and you know and stuff, and it started to get a bit dark after a while. Um, mm -hmm. I reckon some of that will happen here. But I think, generally speaking, it is a kind of crazy witch kind of programme, isn't it? I'm trying to think of a serious witch show, and I can't think of any at the moment. But don't expect that. Yeah. I also... Uh, I've come to I, I, didn't expect, I, expect that. I didn't expect Mrs. Hart to die. The, the Green Witch. That was the one that was... Um, the one from the show. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't expect her to die, but obviously they then got um, Rio came back as the Green Witch. Mm. And what is it about her and Agatha? Were they former lovers, or what? What was yeah, it? Yeah, a relationship. Yeah, there was a relationship. Yeah. yeah, but Agatha believes that the teen. Well, I don't know what his name is. Teeny. What was his name? Good the name young boy. I was going to ask yeah. about it. Yeah. Because every time he started speaking, that thing came over his mouth, didn't it? Only, like, yeah. only, when, he was, only when he tried to say his name. Yeah. yeah. So, but I think Agatha thinks that's her child, isn't it? Yeah, because yeah, because I, I, yeah, it could be suspected that she's alive, like he's still alive, isn't it? I suppose. So Agatha, I'm assuming, thinks that's her child. But then I heard that potentially that could be Wonder Wonder's that's child. What I was just about to say, brother. I was yeah. like, is this Wonder's child? Is that why he's? Uh, the scene, Wonders, the scene around yeah. him. Wonders children were kind of make believe, didn't it? Really, so but they weren't real in the first place. Yeah, but aren't they going to be in the next Marvel phase? And she's going to go and find these fake children. Unless, yeah, unless I'm sure that was the whole reason why she started switching, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Because she wanted to buy their kids. But yeah, they just took her, her whole thing away from her, innit? That but her kids have ability in the sense of like. Um, I think one of them is fast like the Flash, not the Flash. Um, her brother. Quicksilver. Quicksilver. And the other one, I can't remember. I remember that time when One Division was on and I researched it. And none none, none of the kids were like magical, but it, one had, they had like, like powers as in running fast yeah, or something still made like up that. Stuff. If I remember right. Sorry? They were still made no, up. No, I mean, comic book. Oh, comic book. No, no, wise, I'm talking about comic, comic book wise. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Obviously, obviously, I'm outside in it, so like I could hear the heavens patting down on the thing. I do apologize. Can't really hear anything. To be fair, it's like it's otherwise I don't want to walk in the garden now. But um, yeah, I can hear it. I can hear it now. Oh, can you hear it on the thing? It's, not that yeah. it's, not quite yeah, nice. it's cool. Okay, yeah. cool. But no, I'm with Nate on that. It, I feel like it could be, and the fact that Rich is saying like he he ain't got any powers though, but I, he could be protected and not know who he is, maybe. Because mm. we don't know his name still. Because every again, every time he says his name, that weird thing goes over his mouth. That spell thing. So that's what I feel like. I feel like there's something more coming on. Yeah. Yeah. Something. That, that's what I mean. It's like it, although it has this bit, you're like, okay, it's so just silly. I think something more, and it definitely is supposed to be either. This is definitely supposed to be something to do with phase five. I would imagine so. So I think like there must be a reason. I feel like obviously we always think that um there's 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 a theme going through it somehow. Uh, and maybe it is like I said, maybe we are going to be introduced to a whole load of new heroes or new I mean those kind of things. Yeah, I won't be surprised. Is it, I won't be surprised. It's expected to happen. Obviously, we know this already, right? So mm. there will be a whole new phase of 
the new event, young Avengers, whatever you want to call them, because they will kind of take over our screens eventually. Just, just hoping that they do it the right way. And I don't yeah. think they are, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, so like, got... when, um, when was it at the end of the Marvels movie? When um, Kamala comes, Kamala's in a muscle name, Kate Bishop's flat or apartment somewhere. And she's like putting a team together. And she's like, yeah, the young Avengers and like, um, um, what's the name? Kate's like, but, but I'm 26. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That was quite funny. Like, yeah. oh, I hope they bring that energy in it. So, yeah, no, I think, I think, like I said, I think we're, we're, it, obviously they've slowed it down and they've slowed down the production. So there's not so many um, things being released a year now. Mm, so I yeah. think they are going to try and take their time with this a little bit better. Um, yeah, so as I all along, that was episode four. I believe we're going to have four more episodes. Five. Is that up to eight or is it six? Nine. Nine episodes. Okay, cool. Yeah. So we're going to have another five. All right, and that comes out. The next episode will be out on the ninth. So by the time you've seen this, it would have already come out on the Wednesday. All right, I'm going to slightly hand over to Merv here, Merv, just because obviously myself and the Richard Experience did a little catch up on our season fina series finale of Power Book Two Ghost. But I know as somebody that has been a part of that journey, what were your thoughts on that episode? There will be obviously more episodes where we break down things of Power Book Two Ghost. We look at potential where they're going to go, what's happened, where the story went. But what have your like you've watched the series? What are your thoughts on it? I, I, I feel I think whatever all the things that happened in, in it needed to happen because yeah, but I thought it was just very rushed. I felt like we we spent this whole se season four. Th there were a lot there were a lot of things that happened in it that just didn't need to happen. And I think you could have made a very well flushed out series with the potentially with the material that we got here. Like there was just certain characters that I'm like, what happened to this guy? Like he was in it for two seconds, he's gone now. Or what happened with um what's her name? Tasha and you know, was expecting to see someone like, yeah, there's like yeah, there's just it's like they just kind of almost forgot that actually we, we need to kind of really wrap up the series and, and bring everyone back together. And they just rushed it all in this episode and actually forgot people. And it it was frustrating, right? It was proper frustrating. Mm. In, in right. fact, I would probably yeah. say the episode before last week's, you know, last week's episode with Monet dying, that was probably the best episode. Of the of of like of that season you're yeah. talking about. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course. Most yeah, of yeah. we had shade for her character, but I, I felt like I probably miss Monet, man. Do you know what I mean? She 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 was the Standout of this whole series, I would say. I don't know about that. Well, we spoke about it the most, man. No, no, we, the most, uh, we, we, we know she should have died in, in season three, yeah. and, and, which, and that's yeah. it. Yeah. Anyway, we're not going to go on it. We're not going to go on to that. Um, okay. I have this, I have the same thoughts as you, Merv. Like, I, I was saying to Nate yesterday, um, I, I really felt that like one, they rushed it, you know, like, um. You know, like a, you know, like I was mentioning Game of Thrones as an example when when Danny died and yeah. there was no emotion from anyone. I was like, yeah. okay, where's the emotion? Like of Diana and Drew, there was nothing from them. The only one that felt that suffered, like the most impact, was Kane. Mm. Do you get what I mean? Which I which I find which I find just a bit weird because it was it was a big thing her dying. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. Um, and I I was saying to Nate yesterday as well. I felt that they could have extended episode by one by making Carter and um um no Carter Carter no. Tariq and um Carter sorry Carter and Tariq um being on that episode along with like the the whole Mon Monet kind of having a funeral. She didn't have anything bro yeah no like no having the funeral and getting car out of the way then the final episode is everyone goes for no more. Um, no more. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. No, because because it would have given them time to do, do things properly. The way that they, everything was rushed, I thought that doesn't make sense. It, it's not necessary. It's plugged too much. Yeah. 
and and I think I think like I, I guess we can probably agree that Noma and Carter were the the main antagonists for this se- this season. Mm. And yeah, you it's not only just one antagonist, you had two of them. Yeah. And even the way they started off, they started off so strong. Like remember when um I can't remember what season Noma came into it. Was she it the came break? in the end of season three. No, she was at the beginning no, of the no, she's, she's beautiful. Remember that episode when she chopped off that woman's hand or finger? Yeah, that when was, that season three. That was episode one of a season. I can't remember which one it was. It would have been series three. It's not series four because remember on series four. Oh, it's series four. I don't know if it was two or three. Might have been three. Yeah, three. I don't think she was before. She went in it before two. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. So she she came in. She came in strong. Do you know what I mean? And she just her character just kind of got a bit like make up your mind, didn't it? Mm. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, even <laughs> yeah, we all know what happened to her, but. And, and Carter as well. I'm like, you, you kind of just blah 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 blah, and you just phase out, like ne- never to be seen again. Obviously, it's over in it, but um, yeah. And you had some good actors doing like to, to do them as well. Do you know what I mean, like should have used them properly. Yeah, it's true. So, um, man, from so, uh, how do you think about the end? What was your take about so it? I end? liked, I liked the last line for the end. It's, 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 that's what I'm saying. It's kind of like. Yeah, I, I, that, I, I reckon I, I reckon the, the just even the last line and shot ended perfectly for me. Yeah. yeah. Which like, I don't like, if that was I but I, I reckon I, I just wanted them I wanted that whole episode to be more. Still end the same way it did. Cause I, I love that line. I'm like, yeah, like you you probably come into your own in it. But everything beforehand was just like, nah, this doesn't this doesn't fit the puzzle properly. Yeah, I, I get that. Um so did you I take it you watched it on Prime, right? Yeah. Okay, so you you missed out just just like Nate, and Nate were was frustrated. But at the end, there's another another scene. There's another scene. Post credits. Post credits. So basically, very careful. I might want to go and see it myself. No, No, you can't. It's it's not on Prime. You go. You go on YouTube. (laughs) Have to YouTube it, bro. So why, would so they do that? why would they do that? That makes no sense. Well, one sec, one sec. Let me let me just, let me just go through it. So Tariq receives a phone call, mm. and it says, "Yo, what's up?" Um, and basically, it's someone asking him, but you don't hear the voice saying, "I need you to come and do something for me." He said, "Oh, no problem. We're family. Who is it?" Oh, I'll be over there soon. So, Tommy. basically, yeah, it's Tommy. Oh yeah, well. But yeah, that's not really. That's not really much. You think it's Tommy? We don't know who it is. Yeah, but you no. know, what? <laughs> do you know it's so funny because when I was reading in the comments of the episode, do you know how many people <laughs> like? And this is what I, I was in the same boat with these people. They're like, "Oh, so I guess Ghost is not coming back after all day." Like they, no. they really. I, I thought Ghost was going to come back. Nah, you, we 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 got we we you. I don't know why everyone got bamboozled. Ghost yeah. died. Bro. He got shot in his chest, bro. He died. Yeah, but it's his power, isn't it? <laughs> no, nah, he died, bro. It's not fifty coming out of the fire again. He died, bro. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he died. That, that was never gonna happen. Did we, did we see Ghost land on the floor though? Bro, he got straight in his chest. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I, listen, I would have been scaling the ceiling if I saw Ghost. You know, that would that like for the, as bad as the series was, that would have made it the best for me. It would have been. It would have made no sense because like, what was he? What's know, he gonna, it, didn't, it didn't need to make sense, didn't it? Just show him. Yeah, what's he gonna do, bro? <laughs> the only way he could have done it is if he did a flashback. <laughs> no, no, no flashbacks. I want. No, you can't. It could have been the real ghost talking. It could have been ghost and his sister like discussing what what they thought Tariq's doing in heaven. No, 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 no. That would have been it. Oh, it's a (laughs) series. One of those ones. But yeah, no, I think it was like I said, a good series. Um, I do want to do a bit of a breakdown of some of the characters. I'm probably doing in the next couple of weeks, like of those type of things. But yes, if you haven't watched it, that is on Prime. Video or no, it's not even on Prime Video. You watch it via Prime Video on MGM, whatever it is. Yeah, it's MGM. Yeah, so it's, yeah. It's, it's so many titles in it. Well, they keep on changing it. But do you go and watch it? There were definitely things that should have happened that didn't happen. Like the fact that Blanc is still in it, like, it's all the way from there. But um, yeah, and I just felt I felt sorry for people like Effie. I she should just she just wants to go and she just wants yeah, to go. Yeah, yeah, it's just, it's just weird choices. I'm like. Come on, man. Yeah. Man. Let's just to yeah. yeah. Even Dai would be elevated, isn't it? Yeah, and even the way he spoke to my man. But it is what it is. We spoke oh, about yeah. it before. 
All right. Um, I know, well, I know Merv, you watch it. Um, and obviously, if you're listening to this game, again, quite rapid for it, which was the Rings of Power. Um, like I spoke to you about last week, the Rings of Power, I think, is an absolute epic piece of work. Um, this week was a season finale. And but like, I don't think me doing a conversation about it can do it justice, if I'm honest with you. There were things that we saw that I didn't expect to see. I didn't expect to see a Bullrog. Like, where did this come from? Why are we showing Bullrogs now? But they definitely are trying to tie in Lord of the Rings and um, The Hobbit into the whole kind of concept of Rings of Power. So I saw a Bullrog. Amazing. I We finally found... Well, I say we finally found out that um, Gandalf's name is Gandalf. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's, well, I guess it was like the worst kept secret. <laughs> um, we realised that the other one is Saruman, yeah. the other wizard, which I also thought was as well. Yeah, yeah. So I kind of always thought that, so I don't really understood that bit. Um, we thought that um, what was her name? Gladriel. We thought Gladriel died, but obviously we know she doesn't die because she's in Lord of the Rings. Yeah. But it now makes sense where Frodo offers Gladriel the ring. And she yeah, remember yeah. she does that thing where in Lord of the Rings where she turns her whole face turns evil. Yeah, yeah. And she's like, don't, don't, don't kind of thing, because yeah. I've seen the evil kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Now it makes sense watching this. Obviously, this was done after, but it now makes sense that yeah. power corrupts in it. Yeah. Um, no, I, there was lots of different things, and I could probably wax lyrical for hours about the program, but I think they did an amazing job of season two. Yeah, I think it's an amazing job. Merv doesn't think so much, but it's funny. <laughs> no, you know what? Merv didn't see dragons. That's, that's cool. It was, it was better than season one. Definitely better than season one. But I, I don't know, man. Like I said, this is my type of genre, isn't it? I like, I like these epic kind of things and stuff. And, and to have it as a series, literally kind of almost from length episodes of each thing, I... It didn't. I don't know. I just felt a bit. I want more than this, isn't it? As I'm saying, it's, it's weird. Like, obviously, you have to compare this to Game of um, House of the Dragon or Game of Thrones. But even though Game of Thrones was a lot lighter on that when it came to action and everything like that, or maybe these epic, it just Game of Thrones just um, Rings of Power just felt more. I was more. I felt more focused on it. Yeah, for me, I, I'm I'm the opposite. Like I said, there's no dragons, but I think. <laughs> Because I'm invested in the storyline, yeah, I feel like eh, eh, they could have put out rubbish and I would have enjoyed it. Mm. You know what I mean? But whereas House of the Dragons, if there was no dragons, it would have been a shit episode series this week. Like, do you know what? Even when they um, even, they just done a little bit too many things that were a little bit too on the nose for me. So even when they said Gandalf's name, I'm just like, why did you say like you? You kind of said it like you was trying to please fans or something, rather than it just kind of being naturally. My name's Gandalf. It's the same as like I don't know if you've, if any of you've seen um, Solo, the Star Wars movie, like the, the yeah. prequel mm -hmm. from Solo, when they're like, "Oh, what's your name?" It's like Han. Oh, well, you're Solo, so because you're on your own, let's just call you Solo. I'm like, really? Yeah. That's the like that's yeah. just so stupid. Just call him Han Solo. Just make Solo a, a, a normal surname, in it for that kind yeah. of thing, not because. You're by yourself, in it. It just felt a bit weird, anyway. But that's that's the kind of vibes I got when it was like, "Oh, Gan, that yes, Gandalf." <laughs> like I'm like, yeah, weird. but that's because they realistically don't need to. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Gandalf. Was it? Yeah, Grand Grandalf. Yeah. yeah. Gandalf <laughs> isn't supposed to be technically in the Middle Earth. Like he's yeah. not supposed to be there. Yeah. Like that's, that's he, yeah. it wasn't in the books that he was he was in the Middle Earth at this passage. No, because they, they did change a lot of the story, didn't they? Yeah, like, they which, is, it. which is fine. I mean, you can change things, but make it, like, change it so it's like, wow, this is like, you know, I didn't really need this to be, like, this is something that they've made different that is actually mm. good in it. But, yeah, just yeah, just things like that is just a little bit too on the nose for me. But it was it was good. Like, it was all right. And I was glad that my guy didn't die after all. <laughs> yeah. I was glad you were after all. That was quite good. But yeah, no, definitely Rings of Power is finally finished. It is on Prime Video and all of the episodes are out now. Is there a season right. three? Probably is, yeah. It hasn't been season three yet. It hasn't been confirmed, yeah. but I think I they will. 
but um, okay, sorry. Good, yeah, sorry. No, there you go. And I was just going to ask, um, how far back is it set? Like from the Lord of the Rings, like, is it like a thousand years? So I don't know years wise, but so you know, do you remember in episode two of Lord of the Rings? No, it was actually the third one. I think the in the third one, the beginning where they talk about um when Frodo not not Frodo, when Gollum finds the ring. Yeah. And he kills his brethren because yeah. the ring. And then they talk about the fact that that ring was on the leader of the men who slayed Sauron. Yeah. And then the ring comes off his hand and falls into the bottom of the ocean, and that's when he finds it. So however many years that was before. Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit, that's how far it was. Okay, okay. That makes more sense. Because, yeah, when you said Gandalf, I was like, I thought it was supposed to be set so far back. But okay. Yeah, but because Gandalf is a, like, he's a wizard, isn't it, or whatever, like, that's why he's one of the people that live for years and years and years and years and years. But yeah, no, like I said, like I said, and you know what a Bullrock isn't it, Mono? I don't. I, was, I, I don't. I'll say. So do you remember in. Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring, where mm. they're in the caves. So you remember the dwarf guy? He says, come to the caves. This is what my family know and all the rest of it, yeah? Mm -hmm. And they're running through the maze kind of thing to try and get through. And then there's that big kind of fire thing that ends up taking Gandalf with him. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a Balrog. And then Gandalf <laughs> goes into hell to go and fight the Balrog. Okay, okay, okay. That's what a Balrog is. And that's what I was thinking. Like, I wasn't yeah. actually asked, but I didn't want to interrupt the combo. So thank you for bringing that no back worries. up. <laughs> it's cool. But that's, okay. that's why it's mad, because I was thinking, like, why is there a Balrog there? So <laughs> early, but maybe he's been there from the beginning. But yeah, sorry, I'm just geeking out. So I apologize. All right, cool. Um, Rich, just just because I'm interested, why are you wearing a dressing gown? Um, it's cold. Cool, it's good enough for me. It's good enough for me. It's good enough for you. <laughs> yeah, you are wearing clothes though, yeah? For those that can't see. <laughs> cool. It's cool. Yeah, I I yeah, I okay, cool. I didn't know if you was free balling on the pod. I was like, I don't know, that's a bit, I don't know, that's a bit much. <laughs> such an idiot. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, guys, what else have we been watching? I know there's been lots and lots of going on on TV. Um, King take Tulsa, was it called King of Tulsa? Tulsa King. Tulsa, Tulsa King. Yeah, loving that man. Lo loving it, bro. It's, it's levels, it's levels, it's levels. Um, so that's what I've been watching now, watching Tulsa King. Anything else that anyone's been watching? Um what else I've been watching? I watched them. Um, I don't know if any of you's watched the Legend of Vox Machina that came out on Prime. It's like an animated series. Like oh, yeah. It's really good, you know. It's it's kind of like a yeah. You might want to call it like an adult version of Lord of the Rings, really. But um, oh, is it? Yeah, it's like fantasy and stuff where it's animated. When you say adult, is it just because it's like hentai and like people are fucking them? <laughs> well, there is there is some kind of um, okay dirty is going on in it, but it looks like a cartoon that you wouldn't expect that to happen in the first place. So when I when I first ever watched it, season one, and that all those things happened, I'm like, hey, <laughs> Do I really cool? like, the Legend of Vox Machina. Okay. Is that the one I started? No, you you started um Twilight of the Gods on Netflix. Okay, Jack no, Snyder, okay. Zack Snyder. One. Oh, because you called Machina. I would have I, I would have said the Legend of Vox Machina, but it yeah. makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> it makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah, so, yeah. So like the I think it's nine episodes, and like the first three, like three come out each week or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, they're on the third season. Bro, I'm yeah. Just, I'm struggling. Yeah. Um, obviously, industry I've been watching, like, uh, yeah, I don't know if you're going to watch it and stuff, but yeah, watch watch industry with a very open mind, very, like, if you're just not offended by things, isn't it? But I, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm surprised that this series is still going on, you know, because it's very, um, well, it's finished now, isn't it, actually? That was the last one, season three. I okay, think. it's done. Yeah. No, no, it's no. Like, no, oh, is it, is it, isn't on the 19th of September 2024, it was renewed for a fourth series. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, it kind of makes sense. The way it ended, I was like, this doesn't feel like an ending to me. So, all right, nice, no, that's cool. Yeah, bring on more filthy then, boy. Well, I, I haven't watched series three and I, I, I've recorded it. I'm I'm yet to even think if I even finish watching season two, I'll be 100%, yeah? But... <laughs> Marissa, is it Marissa? No, what is Marissa the 
the black girl. Harper. 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 Yeah. So Harper, what happened? I swear she lied before she could even get the jobs. Why is she still there? <laughs> just, just other like other other powers that be just pick her up, innit, it? Really, she's still she's still useful, isn't it, in some way? So, mm. yeah. And is the the East Asian guy still there? Um, Eric, the, the yeah. American one, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it's 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 it's. it's I'm not saying it's like it's good, but I, I just think like yeah. Maybe I'm just getting a bit soft in my age, man. But like, yeah, it's just, it's just like when, when things you're watching, it's like this is shocking, man. Yeah, I, I, the program makes me anxious. Yeah, it, it, literally that. It makes literally. me anxious, and that's why I struggle to watch a full episode. Yeah, and it just makes you think. Like, I'm sure we've spoken about this many times, but it's like, is does this kind of stuff really happen, or is it just an exaggeration of the truth? Isn't it? Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, it happens. Right. Yeah, it's just cutthroat, man. I'm glad I'm not in banking, man. <laughs> or investment banking, not banking, per se. All right, cool. Um, nothing else anyone's been looking at? Rick? No, um, Big Brother's back, but clearly no one cares. Oh, did you come back when? Yesterday? Yesterday, yeah. Any um, talent that went in? Not really, to be honest. Not really. Who's hosting it now? Oh, it's uh, it's, a, it's some two guys on radio, a woman and a man. I can't remember the name. It's it's it's. I'm so like so far away from Big Brother, like and the host. Usually, I'm I'm used to Emma Willis. It was just like Emma Willis. Oh, right? it's what's her name? Um. Oh. Both of them. They've both got a radio show and she's got some tough northern accent. I can't remember her name. I swear, if Davina decided to come back and host it, I'd watch it. Oh, Giza. Oh, I'd, I'd, I'd try it. Why? What? You just said that you can't get over it from the other host that was in it. Yeah. I know. AJ. AJ Dudu. That's it. That's it. And Will Best. Yeah. They, they 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 host it now. So it was the first episode yesterday, yeah? Correct. Have you looked at anything today or is it anything been going on that you've been nah, hearing anything? No, nah, I'm on a I'm on a podcast, isn't it? So it's on at the same time that we're kind of um, recording. recording, yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, yeah. Um Big Brother's not like I used to be. So if your brother's on now, does that mean there's not going to be no get me out of here? I'm a celebrity. Well, it was an ITV two. Um... So get, get me, I'm a celebrity. Get me out. Of here. Yeah, okay. something's wrong about that title. <laughs> yeah, even the first time. No, they'll probably do it next year. Okay. Yeah. I don't think they do it. Do it. Yeah, they might do it near Christmas time. But I'm not too sure. Little, little little random question. Um, when's Invincible back? Does anyone know? Is it I, this year? Or next year? I was no, it's, it's ooh. don't know. Actually. Don't know. They they they've already done the second half of that series, isn't it? Yeah. yeah they split into two. This this one. Yeah. I think this one, this series is finished, but um, yeah, I'm not too sure at all. Also, just another question. I think just for Merv probably. Um, when if you know when is from going to be. Um, available in the UK. Do we know that yet, Eva? Yeah. I can't remember. Um, I'm sure I told you last week. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure we did find it out, but I can't. I can't it was yeah, out. but I did some Google searches, and it's saying that it's not out in the UK yet. It's gonna when it comes out, it's gonna be on Sky. Probably um, will be on Sky. Like, like I, I looked on Prime, and it's only got seasons one and two on there, unless I'm unless there's an extra app in Prime that I don't know about. No, no. Yeah, you're right. No, it's um, I don't. It's not. It's not out on. Prime on Prime, yeah, and I don't know why Apple didn't just keep it. Anyway, um, yeah, Tra Transformers One is out this weekend. Anyone going to see it? Sorry, Transformers One, the animation, the animation. Yeah. I heard it's really good. You know, so I I'm, like, at first I was like, yeah, but I'm kind of curious about it. I'm still like, yeah, but. 
I heard the story is actually quite good. Even though I still don't get like how Megatron and Prime were just buddies. I just just be enemies, isn't it? <laughs> no, no, it makes sense. Pre war and all that kind of stuff. Um, it all makes sense, but I have no intention to watch it. I know you will watch it and probably kill. Might even so you guys do yeah, a bust the review. I like it the fact that you'd rather watch that than watch Joker part do or folly do. <laughs> No, but I've, I've, <laughs> I've been hearing good things man, isn't it? You know I mean? um, and that um that I don't know, I'm not sure when it's out, but I'm sure I thought it would be out this weekend, you know, the Christopher Reeves story, Superman. Oh. Like the documentary. Like, is it documentary? Yeah. Oh I'm, I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna see that in cinema. That's a must. It might be oh, a yeah. joker, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna see that. I feel like when that come, I feel like everything that's going to be in this documentary, uh, me and you, Merv, I believe yeah. we've seen all of it already. The amount of things, the amount of documentary ish stuff I've seen on Christopher Reeve and Superman, I feel like just going to amalgamate it, maybe have some family members talk about him. I feel like I've seen more on the Superman part of it, but not necessarily the Christopher Reeve part. So, like, oh, is it a, it's a documentary on him, not him? In, as, yeah, okay. so it's not really as I mean, yes, obviously, there's going to be a lot of Superman stuff, but it's just going to be his journey from Superman, like, well, well when he started to like that when he passed away, and it basically, in the, like, including his accident as well. Mm. I remember the day I heard about that anyway. Yeah, so like, I, I know he's his son's going to be in it and everything, like, yeah, his family's going to be in there, so yeah, man. Mm, shout out, Christopher Reeve. Um, I know you spoke about it last week briefly, um, but I finally finished watching Mr. McMahon. Oh, yes, but yeah. If you take the last episode out, yeah, mm. there's bloody good, it's a bloody good series. It made me reminisce about my youngster, my childhood. It was, it was my wrestling. It was like everything that I remember, like the yeah. Attitude Era, all of that. That was that was when I used to watch wrestling. <laughs> yeah. Like Afterward, yeah. yeah. I, I stopped watching it. It's I mad. It. It's mad because whilst you're watching it as a child, like for me anyway, it's like I didn't realize it was going through certain eras, isn't it? So even mm -hmm. when I just mentioned Attitude Era, I'm like. What's all this about attitude there? And, mm -hmm. I, and I realized, yeah, wrestling proper went from like kind of just more kind of wrestling action to like wrestling drama. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like, but that's but when, was, that's when when they changed the name to WWE. Yeah, I was like, it makes sense. Yeah, sense I think that, that when that's to do with the World Wildlife Federation, anyway. Yeah, the that's World Wildlife. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but it was the fact that they they embraced the WWE. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like it's it's crazy. I was saying it's it's crazy, man. Yeah, because it does. On one hand, it's like this is the spring of like so many memories. It's nostalgic. It's fun and everything. But beneath it all as well, it's just proper like controversial, isn't it? Yeah. Like how how dark the wrestling business is, man. Yeah. No, definitely. All right. Well, guys, that's episode two hundred. What is it? Fifty six. Yeah, fifty six. Yeah. It's two hundred fifty six. Um, we will be back next week. If there is a show that you need us to get involved in, please do let us know. And let us know your thoughts on power. Let you know your thoughts on Agatha or darkness. Um, if you believe that Rings of Power is better than House of Dragon, or if you think I'm talking shit, like, <laughs> let us know in the comments, man. But please do rate, rate, comment, subscribe. And guys, we out. Peace. Peace.